The current Russian-Ukrainian war is not just an armed conflict between two states, which alas we see almost every year. This war will no less determine the world leader of the 21st century. Will it still be the United States or will the tandem of the Russian bear and the Chinese dragon move from their place of honor? And in this, without any exaggeration, the fateful war there is a hero who has already managed to influence significantly the hostilities and has all prospects to finally reverse the course of this conflict and lead Ukraine to victory. The name of this hero is the American M112 HIMARS Multiple Launch Rocket System, which accurately defeats Russian forces with its GMLRS missiles with a range of 50 miles. But in this video, we'll not talk about them, but about a more formidable weapon for the HIMARS, which can lead Ukraine to victory. We're talking about Atakums missiles with a range of 185 miles. The Russian-Ukrainian war demonstrated a different approach to the principle of warfare. The Russians prefer the strategy that helped them win World War II to bombard the enemy with a shaft of fire. Not precisely, but a lot of it. The theory of probability works out of 10, 100 shells or missiles, one or two will hit the target. Hence the impressive war footage of Ukrainian fields covered with black craters from explosions. Such an approach requires a huge amount of ammunition, which must be brought and stored in warehouses. That's probably why the Russians live so poorly with their huge reserves of natural resources. The Western principle is completely different. Shoot seldom, but aptly, like a sword blow to the heart. All the superiority of this principle was demonstrated by the American HIMARS. Each of their missiles arrives precisely at the target. The internet was covered with the striking shots of GMLRS missile strikes on the Antonovsky Bridge over the Dnieper River in Kherson. The craters from missile hits were several meters apart. The dispersion from the target did not exceed 10 feet. Now imagine that with such accuracy, Ukraine would be able to hit from a distance of 185 miles. This would allow it to strike the Russian military Black Sea Fleet, the Crimean Bridge, which has become an important element in the supply of the Russian group of troops, military depots and airfields in Crimea, and other Russian areas adjacent to Ukraine. Atakum's missiles with a range of 185 miles can already reach Russia's Kaluga. This is already as far away as the Moscow suburbs. And if the GMLRS missiles, which according to a Pentagon spokesman, have already destroyed 400 Russian military installations, manage to stop the Russian offensive, the Atakum missiles will surely make them retreat. What is this formidable weapon? Atakums is a tactical missile for striking ground targets manufactured by Lockheed Martin. The very name Atakums stands for Army Tactical Missile System. Development of the missile began in 1986 when the main contract for the development of Atakums was awarded. The first test launch took place in 1988 and the operation of the MGM-140A missile began in 1991. Of course, since then, several modifications have been created which we'll talk about below. The Pentagon has recognized Atakums as an obsolete weapon, so in 2027, these missiles are to be replaced by LRPF Operational Tactical Missile Systems with PRISM missiles, which are currently only being developed. Once the LRPFs are in service, the process of decommissioning Atakums will begin. The main feature of the missile is known to be its range and accuracy. However, the ability to hit targets at a distance of 185 miles did not appear immediately. The first version of the MGM-140A Attackums Block 1 had an inertial guidance system without the possibility of correcting the trajectory from external information, such as GPS. Recall that the principle of inertial navigation is to determine the acceleration, angular velocity, and other parameters of the flight at the expense of the instruments installed on the rocket. This leads to the low accuracy of firing. The deviation from the target reached 820 feet but this is still significantly less than the Russian unguided missiles with which they generously shower the territory of Ukraine. Their deviation is 0.5% of the flight distance. For example, the Atakums Block 1 had a range of 100 miles. All that range, the dispersion of the Russian missiles would be over 2,625 feet. But back to the Atakums Block 1. It has an M39 cluster warhead loaded with 950 M74 submunitions designed to engage enemy manpower and lightly defended material. 
The weight of the warhead is 1,235 pounds. The total weight of the missile is 3,680 pounds, nearly 13 feet long and 24 inches in diameter. After Block 1, a modification of the M39A1 was developed. This missile's inertial guidance system is augmented with the Navstar satellite navigation system. The missile has a cluster warhead that contains 275 warheads, weighing a total of 350 pounds. The range has been increased to 185 miles. In addition, there's a version of the missile with a high explosive warhead and a vertical section of trajectory at the end of the flight before hitting the target. In 2003, the M39A3 missile was developed. Its feature is a cluster warhead with 13 homing warheads inside. However, it has a range of only 87 miles. Then its modification, MGM-164B Attackums Block 2A was released. It has six improved homing elements. The missile's homing head itself is capable of searching for targets in two infrared ranges. The missile's capable of hitting targets up to 135 miles away. There's also an MGM-140E Attackums Block 1A Unitary QRU version. The missile has a WDU-18 High Explosive Fragmentation Warhead weighing more than 500 pounds. The range of the missile is 165 miles. The latest modification of the M57E1 missile was developed in 2017. It has a 500-pound High Explosive Fragmentation Warhead. The guidance system is inertial plus GPS. It has a range of 190 miles and a deviation of 10 feet. All Attackums missiles have a solid rocket motor. As we said above, they're ballistic, meaning they fly most of their trajectory along a parabola, unlike cruise missiles, which can fly along a more complex trajectory. In addition to high accuracy combined with long range, Attackums missiles have another key feature. They use the same launchers as the GMLRS missiles i.e. American M142 HIMARS mobile launchers or British M270 MLRS tracked launchers. The HIMARS has one Attackums missile, while the M270 MLRS has two. It's impossible to tell whether the missiles on these launchers are 50-mile or 185-mile strikes because the covers for the Attackums mimic the cells for conventional missiles. The cost per missile comes to $2.3 million in 2010 prices. In addition to the U.S. military, these missiles are in service in other states, such as South Korea, Greece, UAE, Finland, Romania, Poland, and many others. We hope that soon they'll be in the Ukrainian army as well. The Americans first used Attackums in 1991 during combat operations on the territory of Iraq, which were called Operation Desert Storm. Some 32 first-generation MGM-140A Attackums Block 1 missiles were fired at the Iraqi army at the time, the second use of these missiles also occurred on Iraqi territory during Operation Iraqi Freedom, conducted by the United States in 2003. The Americans then fired more than 450 Attackums missiles. Think about the number, 450. And behind every rocket, there's some target, a warehouse of ammunition or fuel and lubricants, piles of military equipment or manpower, airfields, defensive structures, bridges. The exact number of these missiles in the Pentagon stockpile is unknown, but surely the Americans, taking into account the fact that they're going to switch to more advanced missiles, can deliver a multiple of 450 missiles. And this practically means checkmate to the Russian army, because several such missiles flying at a speed of almost a mile per second will not be able to stop even the strong Russian air defense. And even if half of these missiles reach their targets, it means that at a distance of 1,853 miles from the Russian-Ukrainian border, the Russians will not be able to have more or less large depots with ammunition and fuel, airfields with military planes and helicopters. This in turn means defeat in the war. Without shells, ammunition and fuel, modern armies do not fight. In conclusion, let's say that probably after this war, the circle of countries that would want to have these very effective weapons will expand. There is no doubt that the United States will make it available to them. And the U.S. military, as we said at the beginning of our video, will meanwhile move to more advanced missiles. By 2023, a new system based on the existing launchers in the advanced PRISM missile will be brought to initial readiness. The first modifications of this missile will attack stationary targets at ranges of up to 300 miles. In the future, it's expected to introduce a homing head and increase the range. A homing head will also allow the missile to hit mobile targets. 
In the distant future, such operational tactical missile systems will allow the USA to refuse completely the outdated attack -ums. Well, on this optimistic note, we'll end our video. If you liked it, please give us thumbs up so that as many people as possible can watch it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, where we regularly tell you about interesting types of modern weapons.